Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episodes 23 and 24 of Amegami SS. Let's go ahead and get started with episode 23 in 3, 2, 1, go. But then it won't be the same. And everything should be fine. But you already know she's going to do that. stress. <laughs> right and so you've been good in the last two episodes and now
so constant. Stop being a hard ass, girl. I understand that, but we don't need you fainting or even worse. We don't need you to go to the hospital. What's that day? Tell them the truth.
him. <laughs> Girl, a lot of stuff. So you just don't come out and say to someone, I want you to be mine. You got I mean you guys only known each other for like a little while and start hanging out with each other for a little while, damn. Already? I thought this would be final episode. This is the second to last episode. Not a nosebleed, babe. Well, damn. Yeah, and he has nothing else to do, so, you know, what the heck. Gonna be a bitch all the time.
Yeah, but she wanted to do it on her own. And it is still better to have more help rather than just you two. <laughs> yeah, you don't really want to be known as the girls who made someone cry. Not good. Now my thing is, we're we not going to talk about the slap run around the world yesterday for the previous part. <laughs> right? You were so against that to the point that you slapped the crap out of him. So what the heck happened between last night and this morning? But see, but that was the true you, though, not this facade that we're having right now.
I don't think it's something like it's a, a, a mental problem, but there is something with her. But this is her conflict where it's just struggling between she's very similar to people who have that like okay because because mm, do i kind of have it kind of i okay so when i am at work versus when i am at home and i think everybody also has this you're you're two different types of people you're the customer service person to type such your your working self and then your at home self and such and sometimes when I get home I can't flip that switch off sometimes um it, it's gotten to a point I remember one time um this is when I was still working at UVS uh it was a Sunday where my friend FaceTimed me and we were talking and so I was like um hold on I got a customer so I literally will put the mask up and be like, oh my God, hi, how are you? How are you doing today? Da, 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 da. Let me help you with this. Are oh, you doing a return? Okay, there you go. Have a good day. And then um, I would say whatever the heck I can, you know, because it's just me and him on the phone um, and such. And sometimes I'm still like that now where I will literally hide how I truly feel about people, uh, coworkers, for example, um, while I'm at work, but when I go home, <laughs> oh, when I go home, I'm a completely different person. Like, <laughs> but I do feel for her. It is super ridiculously weird. You okay? You confess to him. Y'all are kind of finally together. You have another conflict where you're arguing, and she wants to do things. On her own. It, it's almost like she has multiple personality disorder in a way. Um, without saying she has multiple personality disorder. But to have a fight. Her slapping the absolute shit out of him. And then looking at her like, what the heck did you do that for? Like, what is that going to do? To the next what? Hour. The next day, like, that didn't happen, and she's all normal-ish, but you can still see she's hiding behind that mask, and she's like, yeah, the girl that you truly know, that one that slapped you last night, that one who, you know, collapsed slash fainted, that girl's gone. Mm -mm. We're, we're dealing with the nice one right now, and such. And sometimes you're really in a relationship, you don't want that. You don't want, like... Um, multiple versions of you in a relationship. But th that's also the same thing with baggage. You never want to bring baggage from one relationship into another. And for Sukasa, her baggage is everything that she is dealing with and such. And so it's not overwhelming Junichi. It's overwhelming the shit out of her. And she, as a student council president, it's a lot of pressure on her. She tried to get so many things done. Like I said, once again, her baggage. And she only has, like, a certain amount of time crunch. That's how, like, okay, currently how I'm kind of feeling at my new job. Where um, both, uh, today's Wednesday, um, both, not really yesterday. Yesterday I was able to do it, thank God. But Monday, uh, when you're only there for, like, a certain amount of hours, once again, I was there from 9 in the morning to about 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And mindfully... <laughs> there's a lot of things that I have to get done before I go home for the day and such. And just like when I was working at the UPS store, I'm sitting here thinking of, well, whatever I don't get done today, I know I can do tomorrow. This place, the company that I am working for, they're a little bit different. They want things done before you go home and such. And so I got talked to by one of my coworkers, just more or less like not getting on me, more like um, just words of encouragement, like saying, "I we need you to get this done before you go home. And I said, okay. And I was able to get it done before um, I got home. And I'm also realizing, especially with the crap that happened, I will say Sunday to today, not going to talk about that. Um, there's certain people who I like working with and there's certain people I don't like working with because of 
well, what a lot of people like to say, they mouths are the reason that's going to get them in trouble. Just know that. That's all I'm going to say about that situation. Um, but it's also, I'll say another thing is, it also depends on, like, who you are working with once again. And the, um, surroundings of things is all, also what I'll say about that. But I, I can't say too much, because the company I work for. Once again, I'm not going to say the name of my company that I'm working for, but, Yeah. The day that I am able to probably talk about this company is going to be, like, the most interesting day. I'll probably... If I ever do a video on it and such, um, that's going to be an unlisted video. <laughs> that, or I might just be like, this is how I feel about this company. Because the company already has two strikes against me. And they're not two good strikes, I'm just saying. And I, I'm like, you got that one more. And then... You, you don't get nice Deja anymore. You get pissed off Deja being fake as fuck. Because <laughs> I do that for a T. I did that shit at UPS and I can do it again with this fucking company. Um, but yeah, hopefully I am praying that Tsukasa can get through this, in my opinion. So we'll find out in the next episode. But go ahead and pause the video and I will see you guys in one second for episode 24. Okay, episode 24 and 3... Two, one, go. <laughs> Still don't like the fact that she's being fake, huh? Come on. Oh. You know you're going to have to tell her that you don't like what she... Mm -hmm. But you don't like her like that. It, she still doesn't feel quote unquote real to him.
Mm-hmm. It is very pretty. Tell her. He's got to tell her at least before this episode is over. We know he's going to tell her. Being like, yeah, I don't like the way that you are. I liked it what, the way you were before. Oh, my God. She's having fun, though. That's all that matters. That's your girlfriend, though. No, tell her. She does so much for so many people and others. And you just hope that... I mean, well, the class did something for her, which was helping her with the Christmas tree, but... I feel for her. Because you like her, and you want her to be her initial self. I don't think he was doing that.
Excuse me. He's right. You still have time. You go now. You tell her how you feel about her overall with this situation. And then you tell her that you like her. Don't fuck this up. Go on. You can do this. Oh. Oh. Aww. 
I liked her too. And her. Damn, that one two combo, like, No. Oh no. Oh no. Me too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I, I think every kid, you know, in their life, they all see that once in their life. Aww. So I can see why you're so almost, like, very happy and cheerful around Christmas. Mm-hmm. That's right. And you can still be that Santa Claus. Aww.
That was cute. Oh my god. She might be top three. Like, damn. Top three, top four. Oh, but like, no, her story was just adorable. You do feel bad for her at some times. I felt like for all these girls, except his sister, because I felt, from what someone once again told me, there's only going to be one off, one off episode of his sister. So, yeah, um, you feel bad for all these girls, because regardless, like, it, it's sweet that we get to see, like, number one, four episodes on their past and, like, their present day moments and what's their conflict their problem and such but no this was seriously sweet the fact that he was like i not only like the way you are now i like your other two personalities the way you were before that's sweet like oh my god some people do that but like to hide their true selves like and <laughs> she definitely was but still it was sweet I don't know why, but especially with how this is going, this feels like the last episode overall, even though it's not. I think I have, like, two or three more episodes left. Oh. What the... Finally we get something for ten years later. Oh. No, that was sweet. So literally, like, the two canon ships are either Tsukasa or Mori. Horika. That, that's it. Because, like, out of all of them, straight up. Oh, and, and that's cute, too. Oh, my God. Um, They didn't show, for any of the other girls, they didn't show, like, a, so many years later in the future where they're still possibly together. And, and so it's a little messed up. Because I remember for, I think it was Kaoru, like, I most definitely wanted to see, like, a five-year or a ten-year where, yeah, there's, like, definitely together. Especially when you're watching it, like, off of the, like, hills of Haruka being the first one. And her arc is, like, she sets the bar, like, straight up. And, and I'm just, like... It, it, hello? We're gonna see every single episode by the final one. Everyone older and still with him and maybe seeing kids possibly but this is the only one that showed a kid their offspring and, and you know 10 out of 10 y'all ain't do that for Hanukkah which is a little weird so yeah was this the canonized is this the canon canon one I mean because oof like when when Hanukkah when we got to the end of Hanukkah, I think someone at, honestly told me that like a lot of people definitely preferred Hanukkah, um and such. But everybody still has their initial favorites, and, and of course, like Hanukkah, like definitely is best girl. She does give the Sanjana Hara vibes that I love, but she's still mysterious. Sukasa so definitely gives Suba um, um <laughs> yes Hanukawa vibes. Oh, it's time. Oh, no, this is a completely different girl. This was... No, she was the one who, like, she's been in the background for weeks, like, the longest time. I think ever since episode one, too. So, now we're finally... Like, her final... The final four episodes, so... This was 24, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28? Maybe? I don't know. So, like, definitely the last four episodes are definitely gonna be about her, but then, like, what the heck is the second season gonna be about, though? 
these are the questions that I'll be wondering for the next couple of weeks. Because <laughs> definitely after this, as my agreement was with my Patreons, once this is done, I'm going to go back into the OVAs of um, What's His Face and then come back to this show. Um, and same thing with Nyan Nyan finish season one, watch something else, and then come back for season two instead of, like, it always being consistent with one show because I'm trying to make sure that, like, everybody patron-wise gets their turn on stuff. And, yeah, because sometimes, like, when I finish something, I was like, I want you to watch this! And I'm like, oh, okay, hold on. Like, damn, <laughs> give me a moment. <laughs> That's why I'm like, my limit is two, and it'll always be two. <laughs> but no, this was a good episode. This was a really good finale for her. Like, I, like, dare I say, I would possibly put her at number one, really definitely because of the fact is we got to see 10 years into the future, we have an offspring, so it even makes it more canonized that she is probably the second canonized girl for this series, but it, it's still, I don't care, Mori, Mori just, like, she reminds me of me, and I'm just like, yes bitch like I can see why I'm like oh my god no this was such a good arc for her I'm happy I won't go cry in the corner <laughs> but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episodes 23 and 24 of oh my god my ss if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day join the master squad and of course I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for patreons and next Thursday for everybody else for episodes 25 and 26 I'm guessing because either we're ending the show on 28 or we're ending on, uh, on something I, I have to check once I download the next two but until then I will see you guys all next time bye